Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And I have one more top 10 list for you this evening. And it is my top 10 Justin Long movies. Now, Justin Long, uh, some people don't like him. Uh, some people think he's okay. I love Justin Long. I think he's really funny. Uh, I love all of his movies. Uh, the number one movie on my list for him is phenomenal. Um, slightly underrated in my opinion, but we'll get to we'll get into that when we get to number one. But here are my top ten Justin Long movies. Number ten is Idiocracy. Number nine is Ten Years. Ten Years is about a huge group of classmates who come back together for reunion and all hell breaks loose. Let's put it that way. You have a overweight Chris Pratt in this movie before he gets all buffed out and uh, looking good. Uh, but he's great in this movie. Uh, you got a great cast. And if you haven't seen it, this is an underrated movie. Uh, not a lot of people have seen it, but definitely check it out. Ten Years is the name of the movie. And uh, it is a great movie. Really funny. Coming in at number eight is Accepted. Number seven is Zack and Mary Make a Porno. Now, even though he's only in this movie for a few scenes, uh, most notably at the reunion itself, he's funny. Uh, he plays a homosexual in this movie, but he he plays it to a T, and he is great in this movie. Uh, of course, it stars Seth Rogen. Uh, him and his roommate uh, have to uh, make ends meet, so they decide to do some cheap porno movie. Uh, you have Jason Mewes. Um, oh, God. Um, I'm drawing a blank on some names here. But it is a funny movie. They do a Star Wars parody. Uh, Seth Rogen being a delivery man, delivery milk was hilarious. Um, but yeah, Justin Long's character, although it was a short few scenes, still noteworthy and definitely worth being on his top 10 list. Number six is Live Free or Die Hard. Now, I didn't see this movie till last year for the first time, and it's great. It's a great uh, sequel to um, Die Hard with a Vengeance. I have yet to see the fifth movie, which I've heard is a pile of crap, because most notably it has a PG-13 PG rating and not a standard R rating for Die Hard. But that's for another day. Live Free or Die Hard is great. Um, just a long character as a computer hacker, genius, who is being hunted and uh, trying to get... Uh, uh, he's being tracked and... Uh, Someone wants to kill him uh, for some of the stuff he knows and can do. So Bruce Willis is in charge of protecting him. And uh, throughout the movie, they're being chased and shot at. And uh, we have a Kevin Smith uh, cameo in this movie as well, which is great. And uh, and, and uh, to note, Kevin Smith's looking really great. Lost a lot of weight, looking fine as hell. But uh, that's for another time as well. But uh, Live Free or Die Hard is a great movie. Definitely check it out. Coming number five is Going the Distance. Uh, Justin Long, Drew Barrymore. They are in a relationship. and But they're separated by distance. But they try to get together as often as they can. Uh, they have a, actually a great relationship as far as being distant. Uh, I've, only, I've only seen this movie once. I have a hard time finding it again. But... It is underrated. It's very funny. Um, I remember, see, Christina Applegate, I believe, is in this movie as well. Uh, she's beautiful. I, I love this movie. Drew Barrymore is my favorite actress, if you guys didn't know that. And uh, anything with Drew, I'm going to watch. And uh, the cast is great. The movie's funny. Definitely check out Going the Distance. Number four is Dodgeball. Dodgeball. Um, what can you say? Another great movie with a great cast. Um, you have two competing gyms. Um, Global, uh, Global Gym and um, Average Joe's. Uh, 
Uh, you have Vince Vaughn, Ben Stiller competing. Uh, you got Christine Taylor, who is married to Ben Stiller. Uh, Justin Long, of course. Uh, you, you got a fantastic cast. You got a lot of great cameos, with the exception of Lance Armstrong, which I cannot stand, especially since uh, we found out he was a cheater, a liar. Um, so I can't stand that part in the movie. I'm always skipping over that because I don't want to see it. Uh, but we got a great cast, a funny story, and yeah, yeah, it's just loads of fun. The best uh, characters in this movie, besides some of the um, leads, are Jason Bateman and Gary Cole, who are in the calling the uh, dodgeball matches. They are hysterical for ESPN The Ocho. And uh, yeah, just a lot of fun. Great movie. Coming in number three is Drag Me to Hell. Number two is Waiting. Waiting, oh my god, 2005. A great cast. You have Justin Long, Ryan Reynolds, Anna Ferris, um, David Kushner, um, uh, Dane Cook, uh, Luis Guzman. Uh, you, you, just, you got a fantastic cast. And this movie is about waiters and waitresses in the shenanigans. Uh, it's a one, it's the whole day. Uh, they have a new employee who Ryan Reynolds is in charge of showing around. Um, you have your cooks, uh, which I can relate to. You have your manager, Dan, played by David Kushner. Uh, he was looking to promote someone. Uh, that someone is Justin Long's character to assistant manager. Uh, the employees find out about it, are kind of ticked off about it. Uh, but it's there's a lot of laughs. This takes me back to my Steak and Shake days. I worked there for 11 years, uh, from 97 to 07. And uh, it was a blast. Um, if you've seen the movie, you can relate. Uh, if you worked in food service, uh, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, and they did make a direct-to-DVD uh, sequel, which is really funny as well, in my opinion. But the first movie, it's got a great cast, great story, just along. Uh, it's, it's really funny, along with everyone else. And, uh, yeah, definitely check out Waiting if you haven't seen it. And my number one Justin Long movie is Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers uh, is a 2001 uh, horror movie. Uh, directed by Victor Silva, who later, uh, years later, has come under fire for a crime he committed uh, decades ago. And uh, even though it was a crime that was pretty bad, uh, he has since been a, uh, a fine U.S. citizen and just trying to move on with his life, but people just can't seem to let it go. And even though it is a uh, horrific thing that he did, um, you know, it's not going to stop me from watching uh, these movies because it's about the movie. It's not about the person, um, you know, who directed it. And I, I just, you know, I can't get it all that. But Jeepers Creepers is a phenomenal horror movie. We're introduced to a new villain, monster, whatever you want to call it, the Creeper. Takes me back to uh, Scooby Doo when they had an episode about the creeper. It's just great. But this creeper is badass. Um, every 23 years, uh, for 23 days, he gets to eat. Basically, he gets to kill people. And he does this by smelling you. And he smells your fear. If there's something that you have that he wants, he takes. Whether it's one of your organs, your eyes, your head, doesn't matter. And uh, this is what he does for 23 days every 23rd spring. Uh, he gets to do that. But he doesn't throw out the bodies or anything. He saves them. He has this old abandoned church uh, basement where he's strung together all these different bodies, over five to 600 bodies down there. And uh, this brother-sister sister duo um, are on a road trip back home. Uh, from college and they run into him and from there 
it is a race to um, to get home or get to safety um, before the creeper gets them. I love the ending. The ending is so creepy. But uh, I love the character. I love the creeper. Uh, it did spawn a sequel and a prequel. Uh, the sequel, part two, I really enjoy. The third movie is a prequel to the second movie and a sequel to the first movie. It goes right in between. And uh, there's supposed to have been a fourth movie, but because of the controversy that has been brought into light, I don't know if we're going to get a fourth movie. Um, the original girl from the first movie was supposed to reprise her role in this movie, and it was supposed to be the final film in the franchise. Uh, whether or not we get it or not, I don't know. Um, if Victor has nothing else to do with the series, I really hope he uh, passes it on to someone else so we can continue with the movies because I love The Creeper. Um, even though we really didn't need a prequel uh, to the second movie and the sequel to the first one, I'm still happy we got it because I just love the character. I just can't help it. But uh, there you have it. Those are my top 10 Justin Long movies. In the comment section below, give me your top 10 Justin Long movies. If you don't have a top 10 list, then just name a few. Let me know. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for all notifications. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and please share it on all your social media as you see fit. Uh, until next time, I thank you guys for watching and check you later.